Hello my beautiful ladies, today's video is going to be about my February favorites video. So I'm going to share a lot of products with you guys which I have been using a lot past this month and I have been reaching to a lot and I have created a lot of looks with these products. So I have a ton of products to share with you guys and this video is going to be like an hour long I think. So let's get started. Uh, also I have divided them into categories so I'll be going like in a particular order like whatever we use first while we are doing our makeup. So we'll start with face wash. I know. So currently I'm using this medicated face wash. It's from Duke Ray. It's called Caracnile Foaming Gel Face and Body Face Wash. It's a very nice uh, face wash if you have acne prone skin and if you have dry skin also because it's not going to dry out your skin. Um, it's going to uh, give you a very nice dewy look once you're done with this and it's not at all uh, irritating to the skin and it's really nice for sensitive skin so I really like this. But don't use this if, you, uh, if it hasn't been prescribed to you by your doctor. Also when I feel that my skin is getting really dry and I don't want to use anything which is very soapy, I use this um, Neutrogena Extra Gentle Cleanser. This is a very very nice product. It's really good to remove your makeup too. It also says that it adds back moisture every time you cleanse and this is really true. Once I'm done with this, I feel so soft. Now I'll go on to primers. Um, I mean this is like something which is given. The um, Benefit Pore Fashional. Uh, it's a very good primer if you have huge pores. I have some around my cheeks and my nose so I really want to conceal them before I go on with my makeup. So I use this but don't go overboard with this. You have to use it very cautiously and use just like a little bit of it and properly blend it and it can minimize your pores like that. The second primer which I'm using a lot is this Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. It's an amazing primer. It immediately brightens your face and it tightens also and it makes all of my foundations, even the matte ones uh, which can actually cling on to my dry patches because I'm combination skin. Uh, this primer makes them blend away so nicely and so easily. This is like a dream come true. I also filmed a tutorial uh, using this Nivea Aftershave Balm. So I'll just link that down below. I really like this one but um, after using it twice or thrice I thought that it was kind of making my skin more dry. So I was like kind of scared and I stopped using it but then uh, I started using it again during mid-February and it was nice so that changed my opinion again. It makes your foundation blend so easily and stay on forever. So after this I think I would go on to concealers. I don't have like a very um, crazy concealer routine. I have been using the same concealing routine for like a year now. So I use this Max Orange Corrector and then I have these Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I have these in two shades. One is in 20 Sand Sable and one is in uh, 10 Light Lego. So this shade number 10 is quite lighter for me so I just use it for probably highlighting my cheekbones or on the top bridge of my nose or my under my eyebrows and the shade 20 sand sable is perfect for me so that uh, it really brings out my eyes as we know if we use anything lighter on our face it will really bring out our features and if we uh, use anything darker which is than our skin shade it is going to push inside our features Moving on to the foundation, uh, I think I again have made myself so clear about how much I love this Lacme 9 to 5 Weightless Mousse Foundation. I have a whole video about this uh, with uh, where I am reviewing two of the Lacme foundations. I'll link that down below. Please do check it out. Um, again, I'll go through it. It's an amazing foundation. It blends really easily. It's really weightless. It doesn't feel like you have put something very much on. And if you're going out in the daytime, uh, it's really a good foundation to wear then. Um, the second foundation which I reached a lot was this matte poreless foundation fit me range from the fit me range from Maybelline and I'm in shade 125 um, warm nude uh, this is an amazing product I am a combination skin so I have an oily t-zone and I have a few dry patches here and there 
but then again it doesn't cling to my dry patches it blends so easily it doesn't look like I have like a layer of makeup on it's so nice it looks so natural the shade is so correct for me this is high end but I still really like it this is max studio weight uh, sorry studio water weight foundation it has SPF 30 in it I'm in the shade MC 40 I know I have to um, powder this foundation or set this foundation a lot because uh, it tends to get a bit cakey on my t-zone but then other than that on my dry patches it's so nice it gives me such a dew finish it gives very nice coverage it gives me very dewy kind of a finish now moving on to the lashes um with blushes i would like to say i don't really um experiment a lot i have um, a lot of these cheeky glow um, blush studio blushes from maybelline i have all three shades i think they have just three shades but i've been using this shade um fresh coral a lot it's very pretty pinkish shade it's a very nice product it really stays on it doesn't look chalky it does not have that you know strong uh, hint or specks of glitter which I hate in my blushes I really don't like that because if you are going out in daytime you're going to look like a disco ball and it's going to be so obvious that you have so much makeup on and I really don't like that fact the other blush which I am a fan of nowadays I have used this uh, in one of my tutorials I think it was the Valentine's Day makeup look it's in the shade 90. It's a very weird name for a shade, but then anyways, Inglot is really lazy, I guess. They don't give like proper names to their shades or their products. It's a very nice nudish kind of a creme blush. Uh, it blends like a dream. You have to be a little light-handed when you use this because if you go overboard with it, it might look a bit patchy. For bronzer, I must say... Um, <laughs> This is the only category, sorry, with the bronzer and with the brows, I think these are the only categories where I have only one product to share. Uh, for bronzer, I actually use this Shambor uh, blush. It's called Ambering Rose. I use this as a bronzer and it's such an amazing color. It's so pretty. I love this color. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks again today. And the reason why I don't have a lot of products for bronzer is because... I mean, in India, you don't really need a lot of, lot of bronzers because anyways, if you go out or if you're there in the sun for like more than two hours, you're going to look like sun-kissed. Um, yeah, I mean, people who are really pale or really pinkish, they might need some bronzer. So this is like an amazing product for it. For my brows, I don't really like experimenting much with my brows. So I just use this L'Oreal uh, Brow Artist Genius Kit. It is in the shade, um, what's your shade, babe? Shade's not written. <laughs> the shade is not written. I, I think I'll leave the shade down below, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's an amazing kit because it has like this uh, nice gel kind of a thing over here, and then um, it has a very nice color over here. Oh my god, I just ran over. I think it really matches my um, brows, and this is what I have shaped my brows with today. With this, I really like this product because anyways, I just have one product for my brows, so <laughs> I really like that. Um, now, for lips, I think this is going to be the biggest category because I have so many products for lips. First of all, I am loving these lip gradations from Maybelline. I mean, I think I have another video about these also. Um, I'll link that down below too. These are so nice. The color selection is so amazing. I mean, it has a variety of colors. It has browns, it has nudes, it has pinks, it has orange, it has red, it has mauve. It has so many colors and I'm so shocked that I'm loving all of them. I own, I think, one, two, three, four, five, five shades. It's so smooth. It has a very creamy texture, but it is still very matte when you put it on. The color is so nicely pigmented. The color payoff is so nice. I can just go on and on about this, but this is like an amazing product. Something which I have been reaching uh, out to a lot during February. I think that was mainly because of the Valentine's week. But then also just like that because I love this color a lot. This is the Max Ruby Woo. I have been using this a lot. I think this is like a universally light um, red color. This suits almost every skin tone. I don't remember the name of the range, but these are the L'Oreal uh, lip colors. 
I am loving them. I am actually wearing this shade right now. It's called 103 Montaigne Brick. Other than that, I also love this color, uh, 111 Maria's Magenta. It's an amazing color again. Now, something about their texture. When you put it on, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. When you put it on, it's a bit glossy and creamy. But actually, when the product has sunken in or settled on your lips, it's really very matte. I don't know if you can realize my lips are not at all looking like I have some sort of gloss or any sort of creamy product on. It really looks like I have a matte lipstick on. But actually, on my lips, it feels so creamy and so easy. I don't feel uncomfortable at all. It for mascara, I have been using these, uh, this one from the past few days. This is from L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. This is really nice. It's shade black. Uh, I really like its bristle. It's so nicely distributed. It really makes the application go on more smoother and I don't get those weird clumps or you know collection of mascara at one particular place so it's really very good for that. Some things which I have been using a lot in my videos also and generally for creating new looks or whatever are these um, Inglot body sparkles. They are really nice. They are so nicely pigmented and it's so easy to blend these things. I think I own four or five of these but I don't use them a lot. I use this shade. It is shade number 64 again in lot so lazy um i use this shade a lot i have again used this in my valentine's day look and i actually wore it on valentine's day with the highlighters i actually experiment quite a lot like i said i use the matte pigment the vanilla one as a highlighter but i actually love this highlighter from shambor um it's called the light and sheer skin highlighter this is what I have on my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose today. Uh, it's a very, very pretty champagne gold kind of a highlighter. And again, it's a dream to blend. And it doesn't make you look like you have, like you're a disco ball or something. I don't know if you can see, if you can see this area. It instantly brightens up your face, you know. If you want to use this like... A very little amount on your cheeks or you can just mix this with your foundation and your whole face will glow like anything but then I don't uh, really suggest you to use this during daytime because if you have sunlight falling on your face it can reflect a lot and make you look like you have a lot of like, sparkle on your face which might not be something which you prefer if you do then it's fine do go ahead but if you don't then please don't use it while daytime another one which i really love was this high beam from benefit it's a uh, rather talked about product i really like this just for its color and then i don't know why I think just i got the bad product or whatever but then it's not that easy to blend it i don't know i mean see it's not it's just so not easy to blend it i don't like this for that and plus it is way way more sparkly so if you're using this you have to be so careful you have to be so careful that you don't go overboard with it and don't use it much more so you're going to look like a disco ball for sure for makeup setters i think i i mean Again, there are so many, but I love the Max Prep and Prime. It's so nice. I'm, this is currently my second bottle. And I think I go through like 10 or 11 pumps of it every day because it makes my makeup change completely. Especially on days when I went overboard with my foundation or anything like that. It really settles that out so nicely. I don't have to wash my face and redo my makeup again. Uh, you can really use this as a corrector, like corrector of your makeup as a whole. If you think you went overboard with your powder or you used a lot of powder to set your makeup and you're looking ashy, you're looking too powdery, you can just spread, uh, spread this. No, you can spray this and you are good to go. It's too good. It's too good for that. Whatever reviews I have given is strictly according to what I think and what I have perceived about them and how they actually came off on me. So it has nothing to do with anything else and none of this is sponsored. Please don't think that any of the products which I have got is sponsored. These are all which I personally bought. And 
I have been using them all throughout the month and I just can't give those first impressions kind of thingies because I don't really think that's fair to a product. You really need to use them at least twice or thrice before giving a review. So that's why I have used these products throughout the month and whatever review I have given is really honest and I'm not biased towards any of the products. If you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.